Happy Thanksgiving. I have five tricks for you guys to aid with digestion. And each of these things is assumingly something you would have around the house. So maybe you actually have something better than what I'm showing you. Maybe you might not have it, but let's get started. These five are actually in the order that you would take them throughout the day. So we'll start with yogurt. And the reason you would want to consume yogurt maybe a couple hours for breakfast, lunch, a snack, prior to your Thanksgiving meal is due to the probiotics, the different cultures, mostly lactobacillus based, that will help you digest the foods you're eating later in the day. The bacteria in yogurt will digest carbohydrates, so mainly starches and sugars that are consumed with the meal in the form of mashed potatoes, stuffing, maybe dessert later on. This will help keep your gut bacteria in check, help prevent overgrowths of candida, stuff you don't want. And in regards to the actual yogurt, you wanna make sure there is some type of lactobacillus culture. And for the most part, any whole milk yogurt is pretty safe. Uh, this is Stonyfield Organic Probiotic with vanilla whole milk. Uh, the milk quality here is definitely not great. Your best option is something, you know, raw, grass-fed from a farm, which might cost you a little bit more. Uh, there was actually uh, Stonyfield yogurt that was 100% grass-fed that was like twice the price for half as much, but the ingredient list was much better. The only thing in it was, you know, organic whole milk. This one has sugar, vanilla, pectin, lactase, as well as vitamin D added. So it's definitely not terrible. It's probably better than the yogurt that most people have in their refrigerator. But, you know, if you do have something in your fridge that is a dairy culture, it could be kefir, it could be buttermilk, it could be even some types of cheese will have bacteria that is conducive to digestion later on. And this could even be like water kefir or some type of fermented product that keeps your gut bacteria in check. Sauerkraut is another one. That's uh, something I'm glad I remembered. So if you have sauerkraut, that's something else you can consume prior to the meal to aid with the digestion. So probiotics, very helpful for keeping gut bacteria in check, aiding with food digestion. Something else that aids with food digestion is lemons. Here I have a bag of organic lemons. And you know, just like we're assuming most people are gonna have some type of yogurt or probiotic dairy product on hand, a lot of recipes call for lemons. If you don't have lemons, what we're looking at here is enzymes, and digestive enzymes help break down the food. Lemons also have the bonus of added acidity, which will also help break down the food. And what enzymes do is basically break down larger components like starches, proteins, fats, into sugars, amino acids, as well as triglycerides. Uh, we have some pineapples in the background here. Pineapple has bromelain, which is another type of enzyme. Uh, you could have some broad spectrum digestive enzyme supplements. Uh, that would be a much better, more effective option here. But again, we're assuming it's what you have on hand. You know, just like uh, really high quality sauerkraut or perhaps that raw kefir from a local farm is going to be your best option. The best option in regards to the enzymes would actually be a very strong digestive enzyme supplement, but lemons are decent. What you would do is have maybe a quarter cup to half a cup of lemon juice with the meal right before the meal to help break down the food. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind though is that lemon juice is very corrosive. So you definitely want to use a straw or try to swallow it down without it getting too much on your teeth. Now our third thing is actually what we're not doing. This is an empty glass and if you drink a lot of liquid, if you drink too much water with your meal when you're digesting, if the water content is very high, that can dilute stomach acid, which will in turn prevent the enzymes from breaking down the food. So if you can avoid it, you know, drinking excessive amounts of liquid with your meal, try to keep it about an hour apart. And I mean, overeating is probably more of a concern than avoiding water. You know, you're better off drinking some water and having a small to moderate sized meal than just completely stuffing your face. Because what's gonna happen is if you eat very large amounts of cooked, 
processed, heavily heated food, you're gonna get very thirsty and probably in turn drink more water than you should. You know, the probiotics, the enzymes are also kind of alleviating that possible issue. Now, after the fact, there's a couple of things you can do uh, to help you out depending on what's going on. So, one thing we have is magnesium. And magnesium is commonly sold as a laxative. And you know, with large amounts of dairy consumption, with the calcium, magnesium is antagonistic. And most people are very deficient in magnesium. And I figured a lot of people do have a magnesium supplement on hand. So, you know, with your meals, after your meals, you probably want to pop maybe, you know, 500 to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium throughout the day, throughout your Thanksgiving meals. That would definitely help keep gut motility high as calcium can kind of constipate you. And, you know, in a really bad case scenario, you can just take a lot of magnesium and that might even induce some diarrhea to help kind of clean you out. Moving on to our fifth option, Pepto-Bismol. And this is something that most people are going to have in their house. The better alternative would be uh, something I'm sure a lot of people have, uh, something like charcoal powder, as well as clay, you know, the white kaolin clay we sell on Frankie's Naturals as shampoo, or even diatomaceous earth, even dirt or clean clay from your backyard is something you can use to drink and that will help bind to toxins or any negative things in your digestive system. The unique thing about Pepto-Bismol is bismuth subsalicylate, which actually can kind of go into the gut, break down the mucus, break up the bacteria, and it's more effective. So if you were to take something like Pepto-Bismol with heavy antimicrobials, like combine it with lemon juice, magnesium probiotics, it, it magnifies the effect basically. Uh, the ingredient list on this is basically just the bismuth subsalicylate. So it's not an all-in-one thing. You know, this would be a component of some type of antimicrobial protocol, and you would definitely want to take uh, a bunch of stuff with it. Uh, but, but it can be helpful if it's all you have access to if you need something in a pinch. It's definitely more effective if you take it like towards the end of the meal or right after the meal. And if you have to kind of wait for this stuff to go through, it, it might take a little while. And above everything, guys, just make sure you avoid foods that you know give you issues. And, uh, you know, if everything is not being made with, like, high-quality, organic, natural ingredients, you know, be prepared to either, you know, feel like crap or have to kind of do something to alleviate the issues. If I could choose one thing here that would be the most helpful, it's probably uh, charcoal. But, again, that's something that people might not have. If you you know, put a couple tablespoons of charcoal in water and you had that throughout the meals, that would definitely um, help, help clean things out a bit. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I would imagine most of you are gonna be able to, you know, have some probiotics earlier in the day, then maybe uh, incorporate some type of enzyme or something to help digest and break down your meals. You know, be mindful of, you know, avoiding uh, too much liquids around the meals, magnesium, Pepto-Bismol, organic charcoal powder, and then there's probably a laundry list of supplements that you could use depending on what you have access to. You know, most people do have one or two alternatives for each of these things on hand most of the time. So definitely try to parallel what I'm explaining here. Be creative and uh, try to stay healthy, guys. So I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Uh, let me know how you like this video, if this helps any of you guys out. But if you do want to support me, Please just you know share the video on social media, drop me a comment down below, like the video, and uh, if you do want to support me further than that, you can go to frank-stefano.com. We have a bunch of things ranging from Frankie Syringe Foods, my other businesses, consultations, and you can also get my book. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.